Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. This is going to be a general message. Take it if it resonates. If none of this sounds like your situation, or if you don't even know anybody going through this, just try a different message. It happens sometimes. See what we've got coming through for you guys. For Leo, please and thank you. Oh, wow, already. Marriage. Oh, wow, Cancer just got that, too. Could be a cusper, or maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Ah, here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Yeah, you guys could already be married. Or maybe you're already together, but you're not yet married. And then, oh, denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. At the bottom of the deck is decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. So I can see this going a couple of ways. Um, I can see that you're in a marriage right now, but maybe somebody's thinking about that big D word, and no, I'm not talking about denial. Um, but, it, ooh, you know, divorce. This could be someone is in in a relationship here and now, but you're, you're doubtful there's ever going to be uh, a marriage, right? And others, here and now, you're being asked, Will you marry me? And you might be kind of worried about this denial. Could be that there's a, a masculine here that's scared they're going to be denied if they propose. And she's going to say no, right? Or he's going to say no, whatever. Let's see what we get over here. This is definitely going to break down in a few ways, guys. So give me a minute. to. I'm going to get all the cards out, and we're going to rearrange them a few times so I can get all the messages to you, okay? Let's see what we got for Leo. Please and thank you. Wow. It's definitely your energy coming through strong. Look at that. Fire signs. Aries Leo. Sagittarius. Attitude is the new attitude at the bottom of the deck. It looks promising. Let's see, though. I hope you're the one. I bet. I Aw, of course. Why not? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you, you know? Let's see. What else do we have? Please, for Leo. For Leo. Please and thank you. What else do we have here? wants to come out we need to talk <laughs> that's a proposal or that's that divorce right let's see water sign you could be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio there could be some emotions all right some tears Hopefully they're good tears. What do we get? If you're not consistent, you're not for me. See? All right. All right. Let's see, though. That is actually something that can be corrected if somebody's willing to, you know, put in the work, decide to work on this relationship. Free will, though. We have different love languages. Yeah, but that can be compromised. I'm feeling insecure. Okay, so we got a little bit of hot and cold. If that's why somebody is proposing to you, I personally would wait. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I don't have time for that shit. For your shit, sorry. Um, so yeah, if, the, if that's in regards to a proposal, but this person's been wishy-washy, I would actually probably decide to deny the proposal because it, it just, it seems like too much of a scam. Yeah, wait, wait, because it might be some bullshit, okay? Yeah, if that's what's going on there, you know, and that's what's got you feeling insecure. And yeah, you do need to talk about it, you know, because you need more of their time and 
they're not showing you that same energy. So it's like you want them to be the one, but you need to have this heart to heart. Right? You're feeling insecure. That you feel like this person isn't consistent. Have that discussion if you need to. Right? Whether you are the person who is going through the proposal and possibly denying that. Or if one was denied to you, this could be why. Maybe your partner didn't know how to explain it to you. Um, again, because emotions were really high. That's, that's understandable, though. Um, but then this could also be for that person with the whole divorce thing going on. Right? We need to talk. You know, you were the one, but I feel like we need to talk because you're not consistently showing up. You know, or maybe they don't make you feel like you're the one consistently enough that you're feeling insecure. Like, am I the one or am I just the one sometimes? Because it's different. Their love. The one day it's like this and the other day it's, it's you know, a lot of you guys might be dealing with somebody that's wishy-washy. And yeah, it's, it's I, I don't have time for your shit. You know, oh, it's, yeah, I read our old text messages. First thing I'm getting with this is not only do they read your old text messages, but they're showing it to somebody and they're like, what would you have said? Like, was I right to have said that? Like they're, they're asking somebody to judge and dictate, help them make a decision here. Yeah, they're waiting and asking somebody else detaching to clearly see the truth. They're, they're asking an outsider. You know, and if it's not text messages that they're showing this person, then maybe they're just explaining the situation. Now, this could even be a, a counselor, a therapist, okay? That could also be what's going on here, too. Which, again, that's understandable to talk to a therapist about something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's, you know, gossiping about you. And that's different, okay? That's somebody that does want to work on this, all right? And there's that decision, right? Denial is always on the table. It is. It's just rarely brought up because it's difficult to. And I still don't think that's really the resort here except for the weird, sketchy proposal from somebody wishy-washy. That's where I really feel denial energy. Um, now let's go back to this marriage, right? I feel like you're just worried that somebody's going to deny a proposal, Okay, maybe you're worried because they've said that you weren't consistent in the past. Or maybe they're, you know, the way you guys love each other, it's just a little bit different. So you're feeling a little insecure. But you are feeling very hopeful that they're the one. And it does look like you have enough confidence in that to go ahead and have this talk. And there's going to be tears. I feel like it's a yes. I really feel like it's a yes. Let me pull. We read to that. Yep. Oh, look at that. I want to, I want to kiss you from head to toe. Some of you guys may be booking a personal reading about this person, or maybe they booked a reading about you. If they found out that you're, you like tarot, you watch tarot, if you told them, you're like, you know, I thought about booking a reading about you. <laughs> That's so cute. They actually may have booked one for you too, though. All right. Like you're not the only one that can do it. You know, who knows? Who knows? All right. So underneath that, we have longing. Yes. Someone is secret learning, secretly yearning for you. They want you to ask this question. Or you're the one wanting them to ask the reason they're not is because they're feeling insecure about what you might say, about what you might decide here. Go slow. Yeah, they're taking their time here. They're taking their time first. Look, passion, didn't I say? Try something you've never done before. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even think I said that to you guys. I said that to Cancer. Oh, but you know, they had the um, marriage card out first as well. Interesting. Yeah, this is destined. And anything destined, you don't have to rush it. Take your time, okay? If somebody's going to be around for the long haul, you can go slow. Allow the passion to be what it is. Because if it's going to be, it's going to be. There's no need to rush forever, guys. That don't make no kind of sense. Anyways, I had a few different situations. If any of them resonated with you, I hope um, I hope it helped in a good way. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, as always, stay beautiful.